Let's get over to Eva right now, who's tracking big developments on a controversial ride share bill. Hey, Eva. Good morning, Alicia. The bill is now headed to Governor Walls' desk. It increases protections for drivers of the rideshare companies like Uber and Lyft. Meanwhile, Governor Walls has not indicated whether or not he will sign it, and Uber and Lyft are making their last pitches to him to ensure and hope that he doesn't sign it, all while drivers are celebrating. The bill's passed and, and its title agreed to. This was the huge moment of celebration for drivers after the Senate passed the bill 35 to 32 just over 12 hours ago. It's a success for the Minnesota Uber Lyft Drivers Association, whose members have been fighting for better working conditions. The bill includes minimum pay rates as well as protections against being fired. While advocates say it's a step towards fair pay, the companies say it'll make things a lot worse for passengers who will be saddled with high fees. Uber saying in a statement, quote, unfortunately, what we're left with is a bill rushed through in the final hours that'll leave hundreds of low income and disabled riders stranded and thousands of drivers without work. Lyft says, quote, this bill would destroy rideshare for the majority of Minnesotans. And they also added that fares would more than double. Now, because of this, the companies have sent letters to Governor Walls urging him to not sign the bill. And again, Governor Walls has not indicated whether or not he will sign it, but it's important to know that during his time as governor, he has not vetoed any bill. So that kind of gives us a sign that it's likely to be signed by him. Guys, back to you. All right, all eyes on the governor to see what he does next with that bill. Eva, thank you so much.